Hi guys, Wayne Marvel here. Now, don't think I've gone mad, please. I've got shorts and, uh, I was gonna say flip-flops, but Sherlock's nicked them. Right, be quiet for, for about five, 10 minutes. Now, this is all about footing. This is all about doing the right thing, not just for, for you, uh, for you personally, but for, for everyone. If you are unstable, you're fighting a, a battle that, yes, you, you can win every now and again, but it's really difficult, it really is. There are many pros that have mastered the art of being unstable, but we don't know how long that goes on for, and we know it causes inconsistencies. So, right, first off, if you are just standing, doing, doing your thing, you're doing this, you're doing that. I can absolutely guarantee you someone's got keep your back leg on the ground, they're giving it. Keep your back leg on the ground. Now they're actually right in saying keep your back leg on the ground because once you do, you're in a better position. But the back leg isn't the problem. This is the problem. Because sorry if I'm boring you, mate. So what happens is that if you watch the heel of this foot, it comes up a little. Now, that lifts this leg. So, you want to keep this still. You want to distribute the weight perfectly on the lead foot, whether you're left or right-handed. So, you want to feel the heel, the instep, the ball of your foot, and the toes on the ground. Now, I can feel all that. And of course, my back leg does not want to come up. You want to have the ball of your foot on the trailing leg, on the floor. Now I could not be any more stable. No muscles are overworking, so therefore I'm going to limit pain and I'll be able to play for longer, standing the same for longer. Replication is absolute key in becoming a better dart player. But you need a solid stance, of course you do. Now, if you're one of these, that stands on the outside of the foot. Um, there you can see it. So you stand like that and you kind of do this. Well, all of a sudden, this wants to come up again because there you don't feel the need to stand on the outside of the foot. Whereas slightly over leaning, this is now tightening my thigh. Now I'm slightly over leaning, this comes up. This comes up. This is effectively this is what Rob Cross is doing. Rob Cross is basically standing like that, over leaning, then goes on the outside of the of the lead foot. That causes this to happen. Then you've got to come back to get into a good position again to over lean again. You're trying to throw the same dart time and time again. It's it's hard. It's difficult. It's not impossible but you're not gonna do it as often as if you have a weight uh, all the weight distributed on that lead foot. It's absolutely paramount that this is acting as, as the, the stabilizer for, uh, sorry, the, the, the sturdy one for your whole stance. This is the stabilizer. This is the stabilizer. Pull of the foot takes the, the toes out of the equation, which means you're not you're not pushing yourself. This must, must be kind of planted, must be planted. So, if you're a razor of the front heel, remember the troubles James Wade went through a couple of years ago, high and low, high and low, that's what happens. That's what happens. So, you wanna keep that still. Some players need it as momentum to, to kind of move. John Henderson, Look, he's mastered the art of the way he throws. Peter Manley was the same. Rob Cross is doing it now. They're brilliant dark players, of course they are. But how good would they be if they didn't move, eh? Huh? Huh? Yeah? Yeah? Anyway, so, keep everything planted. Keep it all distributed. Now, if you're one of these that has the weight on the heel of the foot, I can more or less guarantee you, whether you're left or right handed, if you're on the hill, you seem to want to go over this way. 
and that is not the way forward because what happens, everything is now working to the right hand or left hand side of the board. So I'm now on my heel, I'm working over here, the thigh is working hard to keep me from, from going over. So you are now fighting it, you're fighting it. You, that's not a, the best place to be. You find yourself on the heel on the outside of the right foot and you want to go over. Get yourself planted, distribute that weight. Now, a telltale sign that someone is standing on their heel, you'll see them, they'll, they'll throw, and you're thinking, oh, he's lean, leaning over to the right. Yeah, yeah. They're on their heel. The first thing they want to do is, because they've got no momentum after the last start of going forward, because you end up actually leaning that little bit backwards as well, which is why the thigh goes through the meal in this. Because you're trying not to go backwards, not to go sideways. Is that then, so they've thrown, they're on, and they want to come backwards, so they take a step back to walk forward to collect the darts. So if you see anyone that does that, I can more or less guarantee you that they're standing on their heel. Goldfinger stands like this, does that because he's on his heels. It's not the way to propel anything. You look at the way we propel things in, in general. If you, you've got a, a stone, you, you propel it like, like that. You, you don't have the body going backwards, you have it going forwards. So, get off the heel, plant that foot, use this as the stabiliser, plant it. So, if you are one of those that stands side on, like this. Bless you, bless you. Where's my flip flops? If you're one of these that stands side on, you're more likely to stand like this with your, on the outside of your foot than most people because you want to get closer. You want to get closer. Sorry about Sherlock. I know you're looking at him and not me now. Sherlock! So, good boy, good boy. I know, I know. Can I open back? Can I open back? No? Okay. So, you're more likely to, to want to over lean because your foot is side on. When it's like this and you're side on, you can't... Or, your, your body won't let you lean that way because you're already contorted. You're already contorted. I would recommend that you don't, you don't stand this way. Because what happens is that this tightens up. This really does tighten up. The, the gluteus maximus, they tighten up as well. Your, 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 your bum muscles, anyway, all, all here tightens up. You want to be comfortable. You have to be comfortable. So you do not lift with the toes. You do not go on the heel because that will make you go this way. It all leads to you being unstable. The best way, the, the, the way that works, the way that's worked for, for centuries and will continue to work for centuries is that you plant this foot so the weight's distributed and then you just throw. None of it's going anywhere. Whereas if I was to just lift my heel up and then throw, I now am moving. I am moving now. Um, it's hard work on the calf. Whenever you feel any muscle pain or muscle tightening during a throw, you are doing something wrong and something that would show show something something slightly unnatural to you sorry this has been a, a, a funny old video with sherlock in it but uh it's just been yeah one of those one of those mornings anyway just to reiterate just to reiterate plant the foot distribute the weight use the ball of the foot there we are so sturdy now so sturdy i'm still leaning forward because this is raised. Look at the back. Look at the heel. Look, 
not, not leaning forward, leaning forward. Weight distributed, stabiliser. Get off the heel, that will make you go this way, make you go backwards and to the right or to the left. Get off the ball of the foot and toes on the lead foot. That will make you do this. That will make you raise yourself. If you are one of those that, that is on the outside of the right foot, you'll feel it, you'll feel it in, in the, the, the thigh. And it will also make you do that. And then you've got to come back to get in position again. Watch when this comes up. This is coming up because this is allowing me to lean, right? Watch the elbow. That goes lower. One big mistake here is not the elbow, it's not this, it's this. So plant the foot. I cannot say it any more vigorously. Plant the foot. Oh, okay, Sherlock, we go. He wants to run around with the flip flops. Bye, guys. Sorry to go on. Bit, bit of a, a mess, I know, but I hope I've got the point across. Bye now.